The European Union skies are some of the busiest in the world, but flights here are managed by no fewer than 27 national air traffic control bodies. Speedway 72, proceed direct to Delta Road. Busy periods, control centers often divert planes into somebody else's airspace to take the pressure off themselves. This makes their lives easier, but it's thought to add an extra 42 kilometers to the average flight in Europe. Inefficiencies in Europe's current air traffic management system are estimated to cost up to 5 billion euros a year in terms of extra costs that are passed on to airlines and to us, the customers. Uh, it also entails extra fuel use, fuel burn that generates emissions, that generates heavy user charges, all of which are not necessary in the modern day for over a decade, Europe's Transport Commission has been asking member states to adopt a more centralised system for air traffic control. The plan is to create nine airspace blocks with big international control centres. A number of existing control centres could then be closed. Almost all European member states have signed up to this scheme, but none has taken any steps to put it into practice. This is partly because national governments charge huge fees for their air traffic control services and they don't want to lose the revenues. It's also because national governments are reluctant to lay off staff in their own countries at the behest of the European Commission. The Commission meets on Tuesday to draft stronger laws to force member states to reform air traffic control. Air traffic controllers in several countries will hold strikes this week in response. Jeremy Howell, BBC News.